This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Wes Herring with me. You are the Vice President of the Ferguson Forest Centre Corporation. Thank you for joining us today. Glad, glad to be here. Thank uh, you, if Kathy. you drive along Highway 43 in Kempfel, it's a huge, huge area. Let's talk about, how, about the Ferguson Forest Centre. How big is it? Uh, we're in total, we're about 1,100 acres, uh, approximately 800 acres of recreational property. Uh, tra trails, fields, uh, arboretum, dog park, and about 300 acres of uh, nursery space. All right. Now, I've, I'm quite familiar with the Kempfel area. I've been working at Community Living for over 30 years, too. And uh, it has just blossomed so much in the 30 years I've seen it. Uh, it, it went from the, the Ferguson, uh, the tree nursery, and so many people are able to enjoy the area, enjoy the land that's on it. There's so many things that are, are available. Yes, no, it, it's uh, certainly had uh, a lot of visits now uh, with COVID. People are wanting to get out and enjoy the fresh air and uh, less contact with, uh, with others. Uh, so our, our use has uh, expanded quite significantly over the last two years. Uh, and the, the the tree nursery itself too uh, they employ an awful lot of people like we were talking before we taped 2.2 billion or million trees million billion billion I, w I wish it was billion but no million million uh, yeah. seedlings are starting that's there. right we ship every every year from the nursery uh, for afforestation and sustainable forest management uh, areas in in Ontario all right, all right. And I know like the, the dog park itself has been around for a few years too, and that's been well, you know, received by the community of, of Kempfel. Yeah, no, we have, uh, we're very proud of the dog park. We have five acres, uh, including a small dog enclosure. Uh, and it's been very well received and people coming out from Ottawa to use it and uh, surrounding areas, it's uh, a terrific spot. And there's there's an area just uh, just off the highway, to off Highway 43. You can go back in there, and uh, there's a dock there, and there's a they've built a, a shelter in there too to, to yep. stay out of Anniversary there. Park. We have a, a dock, and as of last year, we have a new kayak launch uh, off uh, off the dock. And yeah, there's a picnic area and shelter, and it connects to our trail system. And so often too, uh, I don't know, we, we've had COVID, so we haven't had the big activities and everything. The nursery buildings have been used in the past for uh, a lot of uh, events, that sort of thing. I know the book fair has been there. There used to be a, an annual lumber show that was there. Yeah, ab absolutely. And we still do. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we had the book fair again last year and uh, a number of organizations use our uh, different buildings that are adjacent to our offices uh, for a number of events, and that's uh, still open to them. Yeah. And the trails all back there too. Quite often, there's you know, if somebody's going to do a fundraiser, a walk, or a, I think the hospice has used that area. The schools have used that area because you've got the trails back there. People can do a you know a one k walk, a five k walk, that sort of thing too. Yeah, we have 22 kilometers of nature trails. And yeah, a number of organizations sort of use the trails and, and some of our, our spaces like the Arboretum uh, for, uh, for events. The Friends of the Ferguson Forest Center hold events there and a number of organizations. And that's, uh, it's all open to the public and free, free to use. And uh, quite a few years ago, the, the community garden had started. And it's right when you go down Highway 43, you can see it. And it's got the big chair in it now, too. Yeah, the Giving Garden, uh, that's actually not, uh, we, we tend to, we help out there. It's not uh, directly under our responsibility, but, uh, but the space is, is there, that's right. And, and through the winter too, there was a toboggan hill there that you can go cross country skiing, all that sort of thing. Get out and enjoy some of the fresh air. Yeah, no, we've, uh, we've got uh, agreements with the municipality to uh, put uh, toboggan hill into the Arboretum. And we've made uh, uh, agreements with a uh, cross-country ski group called uh, Kempville or Kiwi. And uh, we have uh, about eight kilometers of groomed cross-country ski trails in there. And we now have a disc golf course, 18-hole yes. uh, disc golf course in there. 
Excellent. I'm, I'm really yeah. intrigued. I want to learn more about them. I've reached out to them. We're going to be doing an FYI to learn a little bit more about what disc golf is. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a great deal of fun. You, you enjoy getting out. Excellent. Excellent. Now, the walking trails itself, I mean, we were just talking about fundraisers and that sort of thing, but people can just go out and, and walk the trails. Ab absolutely. We have 22 kilometers of uh, groomed, uh, named trails. Uh, we have probably another 18 kilometers of uh, other trails that are used by horseback riders and and uh, cross country skiers uh, that were they're not groomed quite the same but uh, but but they're there and yeah no it's a great space to enjoy nature. All right, and I, I keep referring to Highway 43 is is access to the Ferguson Forest Center, and you'll have to help me out here. I don't know the highway, the one that goes past the municipal center. County Road 44. County Road 44. If you go that way, you can turn at the tank, and it's a beautiful, beautiful tribute to to our veterans. It's called Veterans Way. That's that's right, Veterans Memorial Park. That's right. And uh, we also have two parking lots up Highway 44 that provide access to the trails, and, uh, and they're, they're in the process of being upgraded right now, getting uh, better drainage and, and surface. Uh, so we're continually looking at uh, upgrading and improving the services that we have for the public. Okay, awesome. Now, now you are with the board of directors. So, um, are you like uh, you are you the board of the nursery part of everything? Is that how this works? Uh, you you mentioned the friends of, of Ferguson Forest Center too. Well, how does this all work? Well, uh, the corporation um, looks after all of the public lands and the nursery. The nursery is part of the corporation. It's a social enterprise uh, nursery, so it's a not-for-profit for organization. Uh, the Friends of the Ferguson Forest Center is a, an affiliate group that uh, support the activities that we have for, that we provide for the public. Okay. And they have walks and, and bird shows and other things going on as well. Oh, it's, it's just a uh, Ferguson Forest Center is just such a beautiful uh, area right in the middle of uh, North Grenville too. you know, the walking trails there's so much that you have access to the water there to come and learn at the nursery too and see everything that's available there. It's just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for people in the North Grenville area. Well, thank you so much. Now we are very proud of it. I think it's a great asset to the community and uh, we're, we're very pleased to be able to provide it to the public and you yourself were with the friends of ferguson forest center before you became uh, the, the vice president of the board that's correct yes all right, all right. yeah it, it's uh, also a great organization to get involved with and uh, uh support all the public activities that we have in the in the center so how do people learn more about it if they want to get involved or they want to learn more about ferguson forest center itself how do they get well, we have a website, uh, and it's just uh, fergusonforestcenter.ca, so you can learn all about uh, the, the corporation and the activities and different things that we have in the center. Uh, if they're interested in the nursery, and we, we do sell to the public, although we're a wholesale nursery, uh, and we uh, operate an outlet uh, store spring and fall for a week or so. Uh, for the public, and that's uh, the fergusontreenursery.ca. They can go there. And the Friends of the Ferguson Forest Center have their uh, own website, uh, and they can access that. It's the Friends of the Ferguson Forest Center.ca. All right. I, I found your Facebook page, and I messaged you, and somebody connected me with you right away, so it doesn't take long to get to any no. information for sure. <laughs> we're, we're not a big group, and uh, we're we're glad to have the contact well and you're very attentive so that's good <laughs> <laughs> no problem well thank you very much wes herring from the ferguson forest center the vice president of their board thank you very much for joining us here on fyi